Hey, y'all, I'm CB, and I'm the No BS Welder at NBS Welding. We're out in the super service truck. We've come to a feller's shop, been called out to take a look at a Caterpillar engine in a road tractor, and I got underneath the here, got on the creeper, and rolled up under this engine block, and we have got a pretty serious issue here. Uh, this is where the oil pump bolts on. And we can't bolt it on like that. Piece of that has snapped off there. And uh, that's no good. And this engine without an oil pump is also no good. Uh, so here's the plan. This is cast iron. And uh, some people would want to weld it up solid and drill it and tap it. Which is exactly what I'd like to do. But drilling and tapping nickel rod is a nightmare. And nickel rods, what the cast iron needs to be welded with. So, plan B, what we got here, we've got a bolt and run threads all the way down the shoulder, damn near to the head. Got the Arc Captain MIG 200 on 120 amps and one eighth inch nickel rod, really good for welding cast iron like this Caterpillar engine block's made out of. And here's the dues and we fixing to get us done. Uh, we're taking this bolt and we're going to turn it into a stud. We've got about a half, a half a thread there that we can kind of thread that into. That way we know that it's in the right place and it's going to be fairly straight and that needs to be threaded in there. I think at least the thickness of the block, the little block there that, that that oil pump bolts to. And uh, I'm just going to weld that baby in there with that nickel rod. And then we'll cut the head off the bolt. And Got three nuts there. Those three nuts will protect the threads uh, during the welding. And also, once I cut that head off and back those nuts off, uh, that'll thread chase the, the end of it and have this thing... Uh, have his bolt turned into a stud then. So next thing we're going to have to do is uh, get the hood on and get in position to get some welding done. 